I'm, I'm just out been for in the, the night. Charitable. Fuck you, Greg. I'm out. I really wanted to put you down for the night in Chicago, but uh, didn't work out. Eight. Here, so. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Jeff, for some reason, Justin doing it was even funnier. <laughs> it, actually, it was so funny. I was going to type Gmail in my Google search, and I almost wrote gay. Yeah, I bet you did. Justin's like, gay? Bet you, I bet you did a lot, don't you? Went right gay in my Google search? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's funny. That's, you, no, when did you learn? When, when, hey, Matt, when did you figure out how to use Google search? S C U. You are now listening to Shadow Cast on Prepare to be shattered with your host, Matt Baldwin, Skullface, Greg for Mercy, Oscar NJ Boy, T2RX6, Mega A1. Welcome to Shattercast. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Shattercast Uncut, episode 48. We are 48. And we're still living in the woods, starting to be able to fend for ourselves a little bit, starting to become a little bit more prepared. We haven't gotten into cooking our own meals or anything like that, or we're catching our own meals, rather, but we are cooking them at least by the campfire. And um, we're thinking about developing a bit of a meth habit. And I don't know. I really don't want to do this shit anymore. I really want fucking Oscar to come back and take over. <laughs> Thank God. Um, I'm, I tell you what, fuck that. I am 30. I fucking, I am 34. I'm 33, and I'm fucking tired of this, and I want fucking Oscar to come back and do it properly. How about that? Yep. <laughs> um, but you're still going to pick up that meth habit. And I'm still going <laughs> to pick up that meth habit. Um, I am your host, the CEO of DMH, unless the tax man is asking. It's Mr. Uncle Skullface to you. And also tonight we have our IT specialist, um, Deluxe. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, folks. We have our trader, our wheeler and dealer, our man on the Facebook and Instagrams, Mr. Greg for Mercy. Um, I'm actually the Twitter. You're the uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah, it, Max, didn't, it, it, it didn't yeah. rhyme with man. No, I hear you. Um, hey, uh, actually, I know for a fact, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that Bobby Skullface does not know why kids love the taste of uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This is true. What does that tell you? <laughs> I just, I, I just, I just, I just want some. some there's, it's very funny. Um, for all my childhood uh, aspects that I can't let go of, there's just some things I want people to act like a goddamn adult about. Um, <laughs> Mitten. Side of cock. Cut, cut, yeah, cut back, cut, cut, cut back in on side of cock. Just <laughs> <like that. laughs> um, all right. So uh, also we have our. Our respectable reviewer, the man known as Mister Fixit, who has fixed three toys of mine now, Mister T Two R X Six. Nice. What is going on? And it's kind of a light show tonight, news wise. Hopefully, a discussion will turn into something. Um, there is there is something I can see already in my in the fucking notes that uh, I'm both scared, petrified, and already angry about. But uh, before we get into all that, I want to remind everyone that we have shirts and hoodies available. Um, so hit us up. I'm thinking about, uh, organizing a contest, um, to see if we can't, uh, you know, spread the word, the, 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 the word that is SCU. We're going to get you guys all dressed up in suits and send you around on bikes like a bunch of Mormons and see if we can't, uh, organize a contest and maybe have a shirt or a hoodie, um, as a, uh, well, probably a shirt as a, uh, as a prize. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that and get back to you guys. Um, you know, we start off with third-party news, and we got a closer look at Unique Toys Center Twin, and there's already... You, you just skipped, like, half Actually, of the anybody get anything? Of the show. Yeah, what? we start out with... Did anybody, did anybody get, get anything? anything? Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm Dude, I'm, i got to tell you, I'm beside myself. Dude. Let's, you know what? You're busy, let's, man. Sure. I am. Let's take, a, let's take it back. Let's take it back a little bit. Let's take it back a little bit. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's stop. Everybody just stop for a second. I'm busy as fuck these days. I got two kids and a wife. My wife's birthday is this Friday. So when you guys are listening to this, I am putting in work. And I got two kids. So I got two sets of gifts for my wife to take care of for Christmas. I got gifts for both kids to take care of for Christmas. Everybody wants a fucking commission December 1st. um, And they want it ready 
in hand, hard copy by December 25th. So like, I'm just, I'm and, and, and the fucking videos. I'm just, I'm just fucking, I'm tense. I'm tense. I haven't masturbated in like six days. Whoa. Um, which I, I have a healthy sex life, but I still, you know, I, I still spend a little quality time with myself. You know, she meditates, and I, you know, I do that. Circle jerk. So it's it's been a rough one. Um, and the most important thing that I forgot to get into, even more important than whether or not any of us got anything, is we want to give a special shout out to Mega A One, also known as Antoine. He is uh, ill at the moment, um, and and seriously ill, to be quite honest. Not nothing that can't be uh, remedied. Uh, if you guys follow him on Facebook or whatever, you kind of know what's going on in his life. I'm not going to put that out there um, without having his approval as such. But he, uh, it's it's nothing life threatening um, at the moment, you know. And it is something that he can control himself if you know, and he's going to do so. Uh, but we want to we want to let him know that he could not make it tonight. I think this might be the first show he's missed. Feels like it anyway. Um, but we are our thoughts are with him, and. Um, we know he'll get better. Uh, after that, uh, we want to give a shout out to uh, Scott. Scott runs GMC, and uh, he had a loss in his family recently, and uh, it sucks. It sucks to lose people, um, especially those that are closest to you. So, uh, shout out to him. And, and even worse this time of year, that's for sure. Oh, of course, of course, the fucking holidays. Like you know, my my grandmother's funny. I was I was super close to my grandmother. Like she was like my mother, my father, like everything. I mean, I had a father, but she was she was everything. And I was the fucking center of her universe. I could do no fucking wrong. Like I, I could set the whole world on fire. She'd brag to her friends about how it was the biggest fire the world's ever seen. And she used to always say, like, if you can make it through the winter, you can make it through the year. And like she passed in the winter, like uh, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of old people, you know, they just, you know, it's harder. You know, like the cold weather's harder on them. So, mm-hmm. uh, and if you got sicknesses or illnesses or whatever, the cold water, I mean, the cold water, the cold fucking, I'm still thinking about fucking sex. The uh, the cold weather is, um, you know, it's it's tough. Okay. Plus, there's um, a gift return line here. What'd you say? I'm pretty long. So those no, gift return lines this time of year are uh, pretty wrong. <laughs> pretty long. Damn. Freudian slip. Pretty wrong. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah. Um, you know, it sucks. Life is fucking rough. And, um, you know, it's shitty. Yep. Uh, Love my life. I'm happy. <laughs> Fuck you, money bag. Would, would you have a cheesecake? Fuck you, money bags. Fuck you, chip. <laughs> <laughs> I did it wrong. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> um, so uh, now setting the show off properly. Uh, did anybody get anything? Let's start with uh, Mr. T2R6. I got a package full of regret. That's about <laughs> it. Mm. Herpes. And I picked up the uh, KFC. <clears throat> and like I was saying privately, I was lured in by the allure of the uh, KFC transistor. And I was like, well, you know, they did make those tapes. And then I, you know. Knowingly seeing a video where Slam Dance and uh, whatever goes in the trash can, uh, I still got him anyway. <laughs> and I was like, why did you do this to yourself? Why did you do it? So, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Okay, uh, Greg from Mercy, you get anything? Um, I got RC, which is a bundle of uh, pleasure and pain, speaking of Bobby's sex life. Yay! Um, I, I just don't even know yet. I don't even know yet. Um, did I get... Uh, oh, I don't even remember. Did I have the Bad Cube stuff last week? I don't know. Uh, I don't think I don't, so. I don't think so. I didn't yet. I can't remember because it was like right on the fence. All right, I well, I got the... You say you was getting it, but I don't think... I got Brawny and Backland, and um, I like them. Um, I, I, it's like I told Bobby uh, privately. Um, I, I wish they were cheaper, but I don't feel ripped off. If that makes sense, like mm-hmm. I would have liked to have paid less. And Bobby knows what I'm talking about yep. now. I'm playing with Ronnie, um, I wish I had paid a little bit less, but at the same time, like I'm not like kicking myself like I did with uh, with Huff. Um, and I think that's really it so far. I think that's really all I picked up. Mm. I got another Windblade. Um, 
just because I have Utopia coming, and uh, I got my Windblade. I sold my loose Windblade and got my sealed one signed at TFCon, and I was like, ah, fuck it. So I bought another one on sale. I saw it just sitting there by itself, so that's going to go with my Utopia. But um, do you know I think if that's you got it. A first, do you know if you got a first or second run Windblade? Um, I wouldn't know. I didn't know there was a difference. Yeah, apparently. So, Bobby, I don't know. Your Windblade, do you know if it had all black feet? Or does it have a little strip of red on the top of the foot? I'm pretty sure it had all black feet. Mine too. Apparently, the second run has a little strip of red on the top to make it kind of look more like the black thing is like a shoe, kind of. <laughs> and Mine's everything got red is top. supposedly tighter. So, uh, yeah. I've Fuck you, yeah, Hasbro. Time. Good job. Good move, Hasbro. <laughs> Mine's got red on the top, but at the same time... <laughs> He's clapping. The He's one smacking, I picked smacking up... smacking his belly. <laughs> <laughs> the one Broly Broly. <laughs> the one I just picked up has red on the top of the feet, um, but I haven't opened it yet, so I didn't even notice it. But looking at the one I got from Headmaster Don at TFCon, um, that one's got uh, red on the feet, too. So yeah, I don't know. Headmaster Don, but Headmaster Don, you need to change your Facebook profile. Man. It gives me the creeps. <laughs> Creeper. <laughs> that fucking picture. Oh, and- that picture is the scary. That is the scariest picture on the whole Facebook. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Headmaster Don's What Did You Get This Week uh, on Shattercast. He's got uh, Utopia and uh, Computron coming next week. Mm-hmm. Damn, Moneybags. Officially Ooh. joined the Moneybags Club with me and Matt. <clears throat> yeah, he's, uh, Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bob, I listen to me. He's, I listen, the head, he's the head guy. I listen to him on um, RFC and TFYLP, and uh, like, I know he's, he's, guy, he, he, like, he's, he's going for it. He's going for the gusto. Good job. He yeah. does it, but what he needs to do is go get a new picture for that Facebook profile. Because <laughs> <laughs> that shit is fucking weird, man. It's like it's like it's like he, it's like uh, it looks like a, like a homeless Santa Claus or something. Like he's like got, it's like <laughs> he's got like his glasses down low and he's like looking up, like you know, it's, it's fucking it's unnerving. Every time I see it, like as a suggested friend, I'm like, no, <laughs> like, <scroll. laughs> hell no. Uh, but yeah. he's a cool dude. Um, Definitely, dude. I uh, Justin, real quick, uh, since we're having more likes today, is a cool, more more laissez faire type of show. Uh, I just need to say it to you uh, as close to in person as I can. I could not fucking stop laughing at that fucking huff. Like I couldn't. Like I was. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I was literally like the moment you started shaking them, I started laughing like out loud, and I couldn't stop. Like the entire time, like I, I didn't even hear much. I, every now and then, I'd hear like a word that you say, and it would make me laugh harder. Like you were like, "Cause this is kind of strange," and I'd like laugh harder. <laughs> I, I have no idea what happened. He's been in the closet, like you know, nothing has been happening to him. Nothing's piled on him. Nothing. I took him out, you know, of the box, pulled him out. I'm like, "What is wrong with your legs? <laughs> what happened?" That shit, man. Like. I, I, and then, like when you finally like let him sit down on his own weight, and he like just collapsed, like he like like he looked like Eddie Murphy in Trading Places when he was on the little skateboard. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> that just, is awesome. Great reference. It was, great it was reference. just like it was so goddamn funny, and like I don't even know if you were trying to be funny, and that's what made it so. It was like it was almost like an analytical review of just a fucking mess. It was just like, and here this is, and I'm not quite sure what happened. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> never happened before. I don't know what happened. You're like, and why would it do this? It's just, I just find this, I just find this strange. Yep, that oh. is. Uh, I mean, let's be honest. That's when things are funniest when you're not trying to be funny. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta, I'm gonna pull it up and play it over the air. We'll probably get, <laughs> we'll probably get fucking dinged for it. Um, <laughs> if it happens, you know, at least. Um, the- Tent creators on the show and could be like, no, I said it's okay. <laughs> but uh, Bobby, did you get anything while you're I bringing did. stuff up? I did, but I was gonna let Matt go first because I actually got a fair amount of shit. No, I didn't get nothing. You're good. You're welcome. You're good to go, Bob. Oh well, shit. Well, now the pressure's on to fucking find this T two X. I tell you what, I could use on the on the on the mobile app for YouTube. I could use bigger avatars. When I'm going through my subscribe list. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but I got uh, while well, I'm trying to find this shit, I got a. Uh, I got a brainstorm. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Uh, oh, I got a brainstorm. I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to interrupt you. There you I got, go. What, I, what do you think about brainstorm? I forgot all about him, but I love him. Oh, oh yeah. he's a great. He's a great figure. He is. Uh, little light. Little light. Uh, he's. He really is a little plastic. Light. 
But that's just um, like far, that's just how they're rolling now. Like they are just like yeah, like everything is hollow. I could even see it like in uh, when Greg was posting pictures of the um, uh, RC. I was like, look at all those notches, like purposely carved out just to save to make less plastic. Yeah. 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 But they didn't carve out that. It's only it's only going to be for a big company like that on mass productions, like pennies. You know, like right. You are sacrificing the quality of your figure and your reputation, basically, because of it for pennies. You know. But other than that, it's a great figure. I love the transformation. You know, it's really easy. You know, it's kind of G one ish. Uh, the headmaster. Uh, you know, the arms are kind of goofy looking but you know he serves his purpose you know he'll always be in you know robot mode for me but i he's he's a great figure i i, I really really like him he's a, he's a great hasbro figure what were you gonna say greg about what they didn't carve out oh that booty i knew you were gonna say that <laughs> i'm all um, about that base i sent you that picture you saw it it was underneath so then, that backpack. so then my question is um would bill cosby Slip RC Hasbro RC and Ollie. Um, he did. He actually did. He actually did back during the '86 movie. Um, we're just hearing about it now. Uh, check, out, <laughs> <laughs> check out your Yahoo news feed. Oh, uh, all right. I'm doing this. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Bob. You can go ahead with your. No, no. Hold on. Wait. Podcast. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And I apologize here. for the noise. I'm opening one blade because I want to see if she's. Uh, Tighter, like a tiger. I she's open and spam. Yeah, let me know because uh, if she, if she is, I uh, I may hunt for one. You know, I, I don't dislike the figure. I just dislike the looseness. So um, uh, that's, what that's she the weirdest thing about a woman I've ever heard anybody say. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, definitely. <clears throat> I know where there's one that just like got stocked uh, two days ago, just sitting by my house. So if you want a tight one, um, hey, I like that. You know, I can like, find you. I can get uh, it for you. I can either send you the one I opened and keep that one for myself sealed again or whatnot. Um, something just fell off of her. She ain't that tight. Uh. <laughs> At what point do you bring him? In? Oh, there he is. Hold up. I found his ass. <laughs> All right. No idea what happened there. <laughs> no idea what happened there. All right. Here we go. Idea what happened then since we uh, reviewed him, he's been stored away in a box in my closet. So when nobody what is it? Is that the is that the toy? He's got that five is like. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty crappy now. He was much better out of the box than he is now. But uh, <laughs> size comparison. There you go. Oh, it was clacking, clack, 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 clack. Oh, it's so fucking funny to me. Um, so what else? Um. So yeah, I got brainstorm. I love him. Um, I can't believe that a Hasbro Voyager knocked my the uh, fans project figure off my shelf, but he did. Yay! Um, Same here. And I, I actually I wanted Matt to be one of the first people to know, so like I, I made sure to tell him. Uh, Thank you. What else did I get? I got uh, masterpiece Bumblebee. I haven't played a, enough around with him yet. Um, and I got a, a buddy of mine who doesn't listen to this podcast, so that's pretty sweet. He, uh, or I should I should say a buddy of mine who I don't have to worry about listening to this podcast. Um, it, it, he got me two gifts, like a birthday and a Christmas gift, and my wife didn't know. He just texted me and was like, hey, man, thinking of you, sent you a couple things, and I was like, fucking sweet. Right here. So, so like, I, my wife doesn't know, so, like, she doesn't listen to the podcast, so, so it's, like, it's a fucking win-win situation. So they came in today, and I was like, man, fuck waiting. So, like, I just opened them up, um, and I got, he got me a, a fucking, one of the, uh, the Takara pens that turns into Optimus. Nice. For, like, my birthday, and then the, uh, Iron Factory, um, Scamper and Six Gun. Not so nice. Yeah, well, we'll see. I haven't, I haven't oh. got, I haven't got them out of the box yet. But um, Robert said he likes downer, this. Sorry, he is, he is subscribed to my YouTube channel, so like I can't put the fucking reviews up until like after, after birthday. <laughs> um, <laughs> so like uh, I haven't even really got a chance to mess with him yet. But Robert said he liked his, so yeah. The pen is awesome. Yeah, I my I mean, review. These are pretty top little figures. Uh, oh. Yeah, my pen will be going up Friday. So cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna. Uh, 
I'm gonna. I got. I just got. I'm gonna set a reminder on my phone to text that motherfucker on Christmas and on my birthday and thank him. But outside of that, it's pretty stress free. And then uh, I feel like I got something else, and I just can't fucking remember it now. Um, I got something. I got something I can share. Go ahead. I actually need opinions. So <clears throat> another friend, different podcast. Uh, he offered me twenty bucks for my uh, Spike slash Daniel slash whatever. Daniel. Now, the opinions, do I sell it because 20 bucks is pretty good for a toy that's just going to sit in the closet? Or do I keep all the pieces of the masterpiece together? Opinions, and go. Uh, uh, that's kind of being mean to your friend. You might as well kick him in the balls. <laughs> if it was me, I would keep him only only for this. Like, like <sighs> I think that you hate him a lot more than I will. Mm-hmm. Um, Nope. Is he going to be in the box or the is he going to be out of the box? No, not the friend. The, uh, the <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the friend or but the like, toy. The only thing that really, like, I, I took a look at him, and, like, he's pretty much what I expected with the exception of, like, I can't believe what they did to the head. Like, I can't yep. believe it. Um, yeah, the is one, he, he going to be out of the box or is he going to be in the box? Oh, no, he'll be in his box. He's already back in his oh, box. Oh, sell it. The only thing is, is like, you know, what if you ever want to sell that B, you know? I think Beal still fetch a good price by himself. You know? Yeah, Not I think he could fetch uh, at least forty. Let me put it this way: if I sell this B, or this uh, Daniel Spike, whatever, <laughs> I will be putting uh, Bumblebee down to roughly twenty-six dollars shipped. Is what I paid for. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I mean, I, I I wouldn't, but I can see how it makes sense. Mm-hmm. See, that's where I'm, I'm in that dilemma, too, right now. So, yes, I also got an offer on uh, Daniel Spike exosuit. So. It just matters if you're a completist. I, mean, I don't think you are, so I'd probably just tell it. If he's going to be in the box, like I said, you still can catch. You could still fetch a good you know, money amount for a Bumblebee by itself. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's Justin. What I'm to yes, sir. I'm, I'm curious now. Can you text me who uh, said person from other podcasts was? It is not Transformers podcast. Oh, okay, never mind. Then. Oh, I know who it is. It's your buddy that shouted us out that time. Then. On uh, yeah, on uh, open your toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different podcast. Um, Good podcast. They need to bring that back. I haven't heard him for a while. It's good. Anyway, I listened a couple. I listened a couple. Am I back in the headphones? What the hell? I listened a couple times and I, I liked it too. And I, and I want to see what his wife looks like because the way she talks about toys uh, turns me on. Hey. Um. But anyway, uh, third-party news, finally. Unique Toys has shown oh. updated pictures of Cinder Twin. Um, you know, it's a prototype, so, you know, it's a little wonky-looking, but, uh, you know, far for the course. Uh, there has been some discrepancy on whether or not that turquoise piece on the thigh is going to collapse all the way um, in dragon mode. Uh, I can see how it would, but they also like there's a picture of him on the in here with the the like the little weapon pack on, and I'm not sure if that needs to have that thigh extended or not for that. Yeah, I'm just not to really clarify, sure my opinion on these figures, Bobby, I call that dragging more money out of my wallet mode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That was good. I uh, yeah, now that, that was holding it in. That's one of the ones I kind of started sketching before the show and then figured if I could get it in, I'd get it in. I love my troll, man. I love that figure. Like I'm getting troll, too. I love my troll, too. I'm oh, get thanks, troll. Justin. That means a lot to that, me. I was, I, I, was, I was talking about you, Greg. So you're spot <laughs> that means on. a lot to some of you. Yeah, I'm picking, I'm picking up troll for uh, Christmas. Yeah. yeah, it's just a good figure. Like I just like him. And... <sighs> It doesn't bother me so much. I mean, usually shit like this would, but the arm thing doesn't bother me. And it's just like Computron, like, Abominus was cool, but he wasn't really, like, one of my A-lister combiners. Like, he's the Predaking of my B-lister combiners, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, Predaking was, like, the top of the line as far as, like, A-listers went, uh, followed by Devastator. And then, like, the other guys are man, down there. And then as far as the B-listers go, yeah, like, I mean, Abominus was cool just because I like the fucking beastie monsters. And um, 
I'll be honest with you, like as much as I, I love G1 and I go back and watch it every once in a while and blah, blah, blah. Like it took me a minute, but like, like I didn't notice it until Bobby said something about Blot being an arm. Yeah, like I, I see, see I even fucking Abominus, like, the Terracons, not Abominus, but the Terracons were one of my were one of my favorite sets. And this is really pulling on my heartstrings because, like, I love like the the dragon head neck look of this, like the way it's shaping up. I love how it all looks articulated. I like it's doing it for me. But I just want to see who else is going to throw their hat in this game. And I was hoping that we would have by now um, to make the Abominus that I really want. Because I'm not sure this is it. Um, but I do I do think they're they're good figures. They seem to be well made. Like, you know, I, I wouldn't fault anyone for going in on this set. I just, I just feel like it's... Who do you think is going to join in, dude? Do oh. you think Warbitron might do it after uh, Computron? So they were kind of, you I, well, know, I mean, I, each well, other. The, I mean, I, I, I guess you know the ultimate answer to that question is that every fucking body is. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Gonna, say it again. Oh. Like the the answer to that question is that everybody is going to do it. You know, it's just a matter of when. Um. And uh, for for me, it's just. So what what's turning you off on this? Is it the size or is for me it the... for me for me it's the proportions of Abominus. It's 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 something about the torso and the waist and the length of the arms. There's something about it that it turns me off. And then the blot the blot being a leg does bother me. It just seems like such an oversight. Like that's kind of nitpicking right there, but yeah, no, not really, dude. Like no, like, it's not. I mean, you don't have to have them as a what is it feedback. It's not me. I hear myself. Is that you? It might be my computer. Hold on a second. I got to log off Skype and come back on. But the recorder is still going, so we're good. Go ahead. Chris. Just in Bobby's defense, I was going to say, like, how would you feel if they put out a Devastator and, like, Hook was the arm and Mixmaster was the exactly dick? I mean, like, you yeah. know, I mean, I see where Bobby's coming from. But at the same time, that's Devastator. That's the bombness. And for me, Abominus wasn't. I like Abominus. I never like like I like Abominus, and obviously I went up to buy a five hundred dollar combiner. But um, at the same time, like it doesn't bother me that much. Um, it'd be like if Defensor, if they swapped limbs on Defensor, it wouldn't bother me that much. Um, it's like how Computron comes out of the box, or uh, Quantron comes out of the box with light speed and uh, strafe on opposite sides. And See, you have to he, mod it. To now he's the one where I'm totally with you. Like, for, like I, when I make my Computron, I'm gonna have to look at a reference photo. Because, well, like, the toy... I never, I never had him as a kid, and he was my least favorite of all the combiners. Period. Well, the toy was one way; the show was another. Um, so that's up to preference, and it's just like with that uh, abominus. Like everybody's getting the. The configuration of this third party one is from that one piece of art. Like right. that one, I think is Dreamwave. Yeah. But that's a badass fucking piece of art. Like, right. I think I like that piece of art better than I do any fucking episode of G1 with the bomb in the Senate. So right. I'm good. I sleep at night. Yeah, I just. Uh, be surrounded by 50 so you're not, you're not getting these, Bobby? Uh, not at the moment. I mean, you know, never say never. You know what I mean? All right, Beaver. Yeah. I think I'm gonna pick up. I'll pick up Troll for Christmas and see. I like him. And then I'll probably pick up the rest. The rest of them. I like them. They they look nice. I mean, it's just yeah. I like them too, and I think they look nice as well. You know, I just I just don't know if yeah. I mean, if now Warbertron would have came in first, or you know, the same time as these, I'd probably go that their way because they'd be a lot. They'd be a little bigger. I know that, and uh, they're about the, the same and, size though. Yeah, they they're the same size. Uh, oh really? Okay. Well, maybe not then. I don't know. I, I mean, I'd like I said, I'm going to get one of them for Christmas, and hopefully I'll lock him, and then I'll go that way. I'm, Bobby will have these soon. Don't worry. I mean, how many kids, Bobby, <laughs> you said you wanted to have seven years ago? And how many yeah. kids do you have now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, just saying. Okay. Um, so, now to the, to the exciting aspect of the show. Hasbro? Rumor has Yay! it. DACA Toys is back at it. This time, <laughs> they're making a Masterpiece Astrotrain gun. But at least they're just making a gun. 
Um, I don't think they could fuck this one up that bad. Oh, there's um, a chance. But I'm not sure what their end game is here. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, what? what's the heads? Is that reflector heads? Are they expecting that DX9 and the other one and the other one, or you know what I mean? That they're not, not going to have a big gun. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's like why? Yeah, exactly. Why, why go? Why? I want to know how they plan on selling toys with no return address on the box. Because you know they're fucking not going to put their goddamn information on it. They're going to send that shit through a mailing service. Yeah, I mean they burned a lot of bridges. So I mean, it's, go ahead. No, how can they? How can they be making a gun? I have a feeling this is the whole thing that they're just teasing one tiny piece of it so far. Well, you know they 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 tease those uh, Devastator those Constructicon heads too. Mm-hmm. You know it seems like they've got something in or he's got something in store, but you know, come on, like. You know, if if like he needed to go back to the drawing board, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like like I've I've gotten some bad third party toys, but that was the only one I've ever gotten where I was like, I've got to get this shit out of my house. Like I like I, it's a you know, like, sin. You know, like I I I, I treated it like <laughs> you know, like it was a fucking criminal. Mm-hmm. Like it was herpes. Yeah, like this, like it's got to go. Like, like somebody brought over like a a, 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 kid, a kid with SARS or something. You know, I was like, you, you, got, you cannot be in here. Get you're gonna infect the whole house. Like, you know, like, like, I mean, like Ebola. Ebola. Um, like Ebola with lice, or lice with yeah. Ebola. I guess would be better. So there's not a lot to talk about about it other than that they're you know slithering back in the game. Well, let yeah, me I ask. Can't- Go ahead. I, just can't, I can't see it just being a gun. It just that mm-hmm. makes even less sense than uh, anything else. But anyway, go on, Greg. I was just gonna say, did anyone get? Uh, so if it is a gun, did anybody get those like Optimus Prime heads? No. I did not for MP10. I picked I picked them up and put them down in that fucking one room, ten forty three or whatever the fuck it was that yeah. one we went to the fucking penthouse the good, suite. The good one. Yeah, I picked them up, put them down, picked them up, put them down a few times, and like they're about seven bucks now, like on most places. So if I ever need to like bump up that free shipping, I might pick them up. But, um, I didn't know if anyone actually had them. Nah, I can't find any real information about them on the interwebs outside of the fact that they're on clearance everywhere. <clears throat> and people are burning them in a uh, burning them in protest. You have MP10. Shut the fuck up. Um, oh. that are fucking burning them in protest in front of us. Um, the last two third party things are just kind of updates. One is of DX9's Fucking uh, nice. Astro Train, which still looks good to me. Yep. Yeah, I uh, can't wait to own this. He's sexy. No, I'm not buying it. You wouldn't. No, but I'm just get fucking Ultra's prom heads. Really, arms are a little long. Arms are a little long, but. Monkey man. Yeah, he's got the monkey man. The monkey <laughs> man. I love this shit. <laughs> going on, but uh, um, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with it too. I'm just, I'm just pointing out. That, but every time I do that monkey man shit, I, I immediately see that girl in that strip club. Like I immediately see her, like just swinging from that bar with her I, feet up on. Her. Never mind. I'm just gonna keep what I was gonna say to myself, so I don't have to edit out parts of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Apes together, strong. Oh, about that on Blu-ray the other day. Dude, that fucking movie is awesome. I haven't seen that yet. It's probably my favorite movie of the year. Oh, the no, sequel. Guardians. Oh yeah, Guardians was Guardians. Man, it's just it's just that power of friendship mm-hmm. shit at the end with the fucking and the dancing. It, it's just it, it, that was stupid. It was, but it, it's still a great fucking movie. I watched it last I, night. I, it is a great movie. It is a great movie, but it's just that, that uh, I don't know. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I that think is my favorite. That's shit. What? Sorry, I didn't want to cut anybody off, but I do want to get my point out. Like the that little bit of shit, Bobby. That's actually what made me like that movie. No, I it was know. A comic book movie that reminded you it was a comic book movie, but did it well. Like there I wasn't anybody. I don't going, ever see. I don't ever read comic books like that. I read a fair amount of comic books, fun. and I never see scenes like that in comic books. Hey, Bobby, it's your birthday. Time to blow out the candles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't that like that either. But that was an example of it being done wrong. I, I like, prefer I prefer that over the fucking power friendship dance routine. Oh man, you're gonna hate fucking headmasters when you get to the end. No, I'm done. I'm done. 
yeah, oh. no, and that is goofy. And that is goofy. <laughs> um, oh, you're going to hate Victory, and you're going to hate Master Force, and you're going to hate <laughs> fucking probably. anything else the Japanese have ever done. But, but. Oh, Sorry. That ends on the. Fans Toy Snarl looks gorgeous. God, them three together just look fucking epic. I wish they'd spend all that uh, time and effort into making these photoshops uh, into putting out the swoop, but that's just me. <laughs> it's supposed to be coming out the 20th around sometime. Mm hmm. Is that what me. BBTS told you? But Is that what CF Source told you, Matt? Yeah. That's I've what heard, I told That's what they told me. I've heard this that's song. Before. <laughs> yeah. Wait, when is. Uh, when are the, when's the rest of Warbitron coming out? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. You got Scoria. Be fucking happy with that. I am. You'll I get am your fucking Scoria. swoop. You will get your fucking swoop. I am happy with Scoria. But Sore. I had visions of swoop or soar in my eye. Yeah, you don't get the Hasbro and the third party mixed up. Um, I had visions of fucking swoop for TFCon. And what was that, two months ago? So. Can I ask you guys something? Sure. Yes, sir. Well, anytime. As we've been doing this podcast, Matt seems to get progressively angrier. What episode do you think he murdered somebody on the podcast? Uh, what episode? 128? 128? Yeah, 123. Damn. I think we should start taking a pool. I mean, like this is like a pregnancy pool at this point with <laughs> Matt snapping. So <laughs> I try not to. I really don't. I come in, I'm happy, and I, I'm, I look forward to this. Then fucking Greg or Bobby says something, and I just fucking lose it. My favorite, my hey, favorite is still from, from fucking Matt. Two things that have kept making me laugh is the fucking Bobby. We're we're growing apart. I can just feel it. <laughs> that shit. And then the, uh, when I was like, first of all, I'd like to thank you for Outback Steakhouse. He's like, fuck yeah, can we? <laughs> can we? Can we talk about some Outback, please? <laughs> And don't forget, man. Matt's a uh, Matt's a former military man. He's a trained killer. Yeah, a White Castle with a spoon and a, spoon and a fork. Maybe yeah, you're killing it. yourself with a spoon and a fork. Hey, Steen <laughs> Hamburg. Yeah, I am. I know. I am. I mean, um, like a. I'm sitting there eating a cheeseburger, and Matt's like, "You want to go to White Castle?" I'm like, "No, nah, man. I'm only gonna eat one burger tonight." Matt was doing <laughs> so good. He was doing so good. Oh, I was. And then, and then that day when he when he ordered that shit, and I, I told him I was like, "Are you letting it go?" And he was like, "No, just for the trip." And I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> "I got quit. I got quit that. I got quit that second job. It's killing me. And well, I'll have time to work out and shit. I'm just tired. Anyways, what uh, we got next? Now, Matt, we're moving on to your arena. Oh, uh, lucky God, draw, Mega Drive, Megatron. If one gold Megatron ain't enough, here's your second gold Megatron, and it transforms into something dumber. So, winner, hey, winner, chicken hey. dinner. Sega Genesis is freaking awesome. Yeah. My, my Megatron turned into it, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why? You know, you, know, you know, this would be worth, well, you know, even the lucky draw is not going to be worth, you know. I mean, it's going to be worth a lot, but to me it's worthless. But, uh, you know, to uh, the regular Megatron, you know, you need to start playing some actual Sega Genesis games on your Megatron, and then I'll care. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, well, how hard do you think it would be? Because, I mean, you can get, like, last year I got a, one of those Sega Genesis uh, emulator thing. Well, the things from, like, fucking Walmart, they're, like, 20 bucks, and it takes yeah, 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 has, yeah. like, 40 games. And that shit's on a chip. So how hard would it be, like, to mod one? Yeah, I feel like someone would like be able to make this happen. And it takes controllers. To, I mean, it, there's a place to plug a controller in for effect. So you could, you know, wire it as well, but it, you you can't hook controllers, right? You to this, know, I, you know? so. no. I mean, it's I not yeah, it's it's not a full size uh, Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, right? Uh, I mean, I was yeah. gonna say you could always use it as a bludgeon, swing it by the wire, and knock a motherfucker out for trying to steal your good <laughs> toys. <laughs> well, that little Sega thing I got's little. It's probably the size. I mean, yeah, it's no, the size I know of my what you're hand. talking about. It definitely could work. Someone could have done it. So. Here's my question. I want a Turbo Graphics 16. Why the fuck wouldn't they choose a game that was at least gun oriented? Nice, what like Duck Hunt. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. something that, had, like where the gun was like just, was just a, a nice. little nod. What what is it? Virtual Fighter? I can't even tell. I can't even tell. Uh, I don't know what is it. Yeah, I can't even tell. It's too fucking shiny. Well, if you put in the blood code, you uh, <laughs> the blood turn code to a gun. Dude, the blood code. <laughs> what is it? Such is that a double dragon? Now. 
the blood was code was, no, and it's not double. The blood code was such a letdown. It was just like it looked like red sweat. More combat. Yeah, that was kind of yeah. more combat. I mean, that's fuck yeah. no. The fucking the the, the 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 it was like excessive bleeding. Like you get punched in your nose and you lose like a gallon of blood. <laughs> it was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't play things like Sega. I had Super Nintendo. We weren't poor. <clears throat> yeah, I had, well, I had. Uh, oh, I'm just kidding. I, I had bags. I had. Uh, <laughs> I had Sega Genesis at my shit. dad's house, and my brother's had Super Nintendo at my mom's house. Oh, so shit. Got, yeah, so... It was Money, bud. Bobby's been living. God damn. Yeah. You just... Yeah. You just, man. Yeah, man, fuck it. I'm gonna come live with you, man. Fuck it. Yeah, man. I'm leaving Lisa. You, like the old, come on. you just sounded like the old drunk at the family reunion right there, Matt. I don't know what it was. But you're like, man, Bobby, you're fucking living, man. I'm fucking coming to live with you. I'm going to go to your dad's house and play your Sega. I'm going to your fucking brother's house and play Nintendo. You motherfucker, I got Mario Kart. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Peace out, bitches. <laughs> Peace out, bitches. I'm with White Castle. Um, Getting some waffle fries. Next thing we got was a Singapore show showcasing the first. Uh, this is the first real image we've seen of Power Glide, right? You got to click over a couple slides to to get the good look, but uh, and Bombshell for that yeah. matter. Bombshell's looking fucking good yeah. for a Hasbro toy. They're all looking good. Fuck you. Um, Shut the fuck up, Chip. Shut the fuck up, Chip. The the uh. The fucking uh uh wind charger looks like a train wreck. Um, Power Glide looks good. Yep. Yeah, I like Power Glide. <clears throat> My thing is, though, Swerve looked good and Gears looked good, and then like I actually got them, mm. and they were horrible. I'm not sure if Swerve ever looked good. I mean, not Swerve. I'm sorry. No, you're right. You're right. I was talking about uh, Tailgate. Gears. Oh, Tailgate. Oh, yeah. No, no. No. Tailgate. No. <laughs> tailgate. <laughs> that was like that was like IDW Tailgate with like a fucking half a car following his ass around. <laughs> <laughs> Like that was like only brother. Like, can that I was play his, too? That was his monkey on the back. He was addicted to fucking part swapping or something, <laughs> and it manifested itself as a monkey on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that goddamn uh, man. That monkey toy is fucking. Oh, that tailgate looks so good with the faces, I with the know, one with the tears and shit. Right, I can't man. wait. Yeah. I just hope they don't. Pay it. Stupid. I hope you just get that and all the fucking accessories. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, that's enough about that. Who gives a shit? Then the fucking uh, I do. Sup- Superion. Let's talk about that. That's that's worth talking about. Um. It it it's looking better, but it's not looking good enough. Are you still gonna buy these and do robot mode? Uh, I uh, I don't think, I don't know. You know, never say never. It's, it depends. Like, if I have a weak moment, I can see myself doing God, it. Bobby and his Justin will. Bieber crap all night. This is the second <laughs> time I've heard that. I just, I, what, what is that? A, is that a Justin Bieber record? Justin Bieber never put out records. He put out CDs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, that, is that a Justin Bieber song? I don't know. I just know that it's associated with him. That's as much as I know. So. Uh, Wait, what do, you, what do you say? I didn't even catch it. Never say never. Never say never. Oh yeah. yeah, that's the fucking movie. Oh okay. I, Directed see, I, by your boy that did uh, GI Joe two. <clears throat> I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I didn't even know he was in a movie. Um, I'm. I'm not cool. It was a movie about uh, him. I thought. It was like that Katy Perry movie. You knew there was a Katy Perry. I movie. I did know there was a Katy Perry movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bet you did. Big tits. <laughs> that shit's on your cell phone. <laughs> she. Um, oh, yeah. This. Well, anyway, these uh, these arms. I <laughs> changed the subject. <laughs> these arms. Anyways. Uh, Fat, 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 fat. This is definitely a monkey man. No, no. This I'm is a mess. That one. It, it is a nice, mess. Man. It, it is, is not. You're going to get it and love it. The the joints, the the, the leg joints, they're proving, you know, hey, Matt, there's your high kick. You were just complaining about it last week, but Hasbro's doing oh, it now. Oh, fuck yeah. Damn, um, they are. They have to. You know, it's just the... They watch. This is a proportion issue. This whole toy, the problem is the proportion. Like, the fucking chest is... Huge. The head is big. Fucking the, the arms are long. That's that's fucking Baltimore coming out. If anybody doesn't know, <laughs> Baltimore people have a tendency to overpronounce O's. So like, it's it's like uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Like we have a, it's just a it's just a thing. So yeah. anyway, the, um, the, but the fucking the, the arms are long as you shit. Still in our heart, he doubled. 
The what? Yeah, because because that it's it's like some you you a guy made video game music or something, man. Like it's it's not video game music. He rap, I'm not sure man. He's a good. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if you've ever been to Baltimore, man. But they they don't care about such things. I ain't but, been um, to Baltimore. Hey, no. Bobby. What Baltimore? Just, what? Just a side note, because you know how I like the correct spelling and not YouTube videos. Um, <laughs> huge doesn't have any O's in it. <laughs> well, the O, o and O. I'm, you're right. The the O and U sound like uh. Q, like it's just, it's, it's just, I know. It's, it's just part of the thing. Anyway, uh, the arms, the, the <laughs> middle, like if you look at the, look at how long the fingers go down. Like it's stand, if you're listening to this podcast right now, do me a favor, stand up. I know it's hard. I'm standing. I, I, I know, I know the basement. I know that basement, that second floor is, is creeping on the top of your head, but stand up the best you can and put your arms down by your side and just notice where your middle finger goes. Just notice. It should go about halfway down your thigh. It's up in the air and it's pointing at you. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> I, I guess I guess Matt and fucking Justin are sharing the same joke book. But look, the uh, oh. but, but, the, the fucking your middle finger should be about halfway down your thigh. This dude's middle fingers are like an inch below his knees. That's a proportion issue. That's a proportion issue. The, the thighs are. The, the the thigh like this is another guy who forgot leg day, you know the the calves are decent, so but the thighs always are... had to forget leg day. Come on now, but that you doesn't do that, no 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 no. So so Perion the toy had a bad leg day, but that, that the, do the, the so did the, the idea, cartoon too. The idea is to improve. You don't say okay, this was shitty in G one, so let's continue to make it shitty. That's uh, just maybe, not the right way. Maybe to collapse look at. them. I, I I like it. I think he looks. You like this? You really, you really like that? He's a great representation of G one. Yes, he is a great representation of Bobby. Well, no, no, no. Can I? He is a great, a great representation of G one. What I said. Hasbro owns him. How is G one? Because he looks like a G one Supreme. That's what they look like. The toy mode. Who the fuck is Alpha Bravo? The toy was forget leg day. The the Alpha Alpha Bravo. Alpha Bravo is my favorite G one character, man. He's my favorite G one Ariel. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> okay, you can say you like him, but don't say you like him for some He's a great reason. Rep- he does. Why does he not look like? How's he not look like G one? It does Alpha shit. Bravo wait, didn't exist. You always you always complain about everything. That, you know, wants to look like G one toy, or is it the show? You're show show actor, show. right? Yeah. Okay. Well, he missed leg day in the show too. So get over that shit. He looks like G one. That's what he's supposed to do. That's what it's going for. He looks good. I mean, he's not. Uh, hey. At least he don't fucking cost five hundred dollars. He, he can better I? not. He better. Well, not I mean, hey, for what you're paying for, you're getting a not, good product. I cost five hundred pesos. What you're paying for, you're getting a good product. Okay, if if Hasbro could, if Hasbro, if Hasbro could fucking charge everybody five hundred bucks for a fucking uh, uh, you know uh, a combiner, they probably would, and it would probably be you know just like any third party it would be just as good, but they don't. It, it, it probably would, and, and they and they don't. You're right. So when you put that quarter in the little machine outside of the fucking grocery store where all the little fucking uh, welfare kids are lined up, and you get the little ring that has a spider on it, yeah, you only paid a quarter for it, worth every penny. It is. No, it's a fucking waste of money. It, the kid has it. The kid loves it. It doesn't matter if you like it. the kid. He doesn't likes love it. it. What kid do you know that loves that fucking spider? Not now. Back back in the day when we even back in the day they didn't love that shit. You lost that shit. I love that shit. You lost that shit. I love that shit. If home. I got stuck like that, I got happy. I appreciated stuff. I didn't have Where's money. Your G1 toys from when you were a kid. I didn't have my money. I didn't have money bags. Where's your G? Oh, 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 oh <laughs> poor, poor, poor Matt. Where's my what? Where's my what? Where's, Where's my what? Do you have any toys from when you were a kid? No, we moved a lot. I, I, my mom got rid of them. Hey, Greg. Greg. Yes, sir. I am changing my bet on episodes to episodes. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to get a word in edgewise to say I changed mine to 49. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all, hey, man. Can I quote one of the wisest men I've ever met in my life uh, for a second? Bobby. Yes. Do you expect every toy to be good? Bam. No. Matt Baldwin. <laughs> just want to say. I'm just saying you're paying for what I mean. Like I said, you're not paying 500 bucks for a third party figure. You're gonna pay uh, what 40, 50 dollars probably, give or take 60, maybe. 60. I mean, M's. 
I mean, you know. And then another twenty-two to twenty. You're, you're not going to get the best thing in the world. You're talking about this, 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 this piece. Add in some fuel or some shipping, and you're. This is easily a hundred-dollar piece. Don't forget wrapper labels and shapeways parts to make it stand up straight. <laughs> I think he looks good. I mean, I say he's not the best. I know, you know. He, I, I mean, he's not TFC. You know, he's not that. You know, he's not that superior. He's not going to replace my superior, but. He's gonna be a great. He's gonna be a great addition to my collection because oh, he looks nice. Thank you. Don't forget that third party uh, Fireflight you're gonna have to buy to replace Alpha Bravo. Whatever. That's another eighty dollars. <laughs> yeah, and that's a two hundred dollar piece. <laughs> Dude, he can do the splits, man. What the fuck more do you need? <laughs> like, Pat, do give me two hundred bucks, and I can make you do the splits. <laughs> if you don't have to buy anything. What's that do with anything, Fatty? I can, I, can, I can get you to do the splits and buy you a mirror. Hell, Sorry. give you a fucking pretender. Uh, what was that? Uh, Thunderwing, you'll do the splits. You'll do it with your back to the wall. Hell yeah, dude. Because this is a nice toy. This is what's called it. Repro labels for it. Aw. I'll buy you some repro labels for Christmas. But I get it, I get it Bob. You know, I, I understand, you know, you're going to shit on Hasbro all day, but hey, that's all right. You will Matt, still pick You will Matt, still pick this up. At the beginning the of the that. show, at the beginning of the show, yep. I said I just praised Hasbro at the beginning of this show. Okay. I don't have it out for Hasbro, but this looks silly. This looks silly, dude. Eh. The, the I, hands don't know whether they want to be open or whether they want to be in a fist. <laughs> They're <laughs> confused. It's all right. <laughs> you know, Hasbro like does that. The, the 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 he's got the world's longest elbow. He if he was a human, if he if he was a human, he would have been in a meme. So what is, what what is it? What would you do to fix it then? What what is it that you would do to fix this? How would, a, how would you it's, fix it's, it's, it's a it's a it's well I'm not a toy designer so I don't I don't exactly know what the answer is but I know that the problem. The problem is the proportions. Uh, well, if I was going to fix it, I think the first thing I do was give a uh, a little impromptu shout out to uh, my buddy Ken from the cafe. He asked if he'd get a shout out, and I was just going to fit it in somewhere. Hey, so, How you doing there's your cafe, fucking shout out, Ken. But Ken like Guerrero, that- or, 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 he's a big fan of ours. He's the one that helps catch our mistakes, like when uh, shit gets uploaded and it's in one oh, channel. Oh, yeah, 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 that is. That yeah, is yeah, see? Yeah, Ken. Shout out He's to Ken. He's a 30-second. So okay, so since, since Justin's graph. an engineer, how, Justin, <laughs> I know you You know you want to shit on this. How would you fix this? What did I, I what? Nobody let me get a word in edgewise. I was going to say that I'd probably end up picking this up out of uh, boredom for nothing else out there. So, uh, well, I know, but I, I mean, I, you know, you're the top that you know you want to fix stuff, and that's cool. I like that. But what would you do? To well, of course, of course, guy? you like it, Matt. You're a Hasbro fan. A lot of shit needs fixing. <laughs> well, <laughs> if I were designing this thing, his hips would come in, and the thighs would be bulked up. I mean, because the fact that his his crotch makes a T uh, downwards, like an upside down T, that's kind of weird. <clears throat> uh, well, didn't the toy do that? I don't care about yeah. the toy. I'm okay. I'm trying to get a, a decent looking robot in my opinion wow. okay. in, in matt's defense bobby and i'm sorry Justin, i'm trying to cut you off Go for it. but in matt's defense uh justin's two most quote-unquote famous fixes one's for tfc well, one's for hasbro but one also is for two tfc I know, toys i know so. i know i know i know i know just but the just uh, advocate also real quick i just to, to back matt up um you know we're gonna look at the optimus prime next uh from, oh God! From, and and, sure and just as, as a heads up, like one of my big beasts with that is that the knees bend, and the and the toys, the knees don't bend, right, Matt? The G one knees don't bend, so the knees shouldn't bend here, right? Nah, I'm done. I don't know. I, I can't. <laughs> There's nothing I can say. There's nothing I'm gonna say. But all I'm gonna no, it's like the I'm, toy, man. I, I want to. No, you want it to be just like the, the toy. The only man. thing that I can say that's gonna you know trump everything on this. You're gonna buy the stuff. I might. I might buy this. I might like Justin said. No, it ain't, no, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. You're gonna get it. You'll you said I was your, gonna. You'll Matt, buy, you said I was gonna buy, buy that Roadbuster. Kid. You said so I was gonna buy it. that Roadbuster, the the Derpy Vader. You didn't get the Derp Derp Vader. You got it yet? No, I don't have that Roadbuster, and I never will. Derp Vader will never be in my house. You will. You'll get bored. You'll see it. You'll be like, eh. Don't tell Matt. I kind of got that for you for Christmas, Bobby. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, right. But I kept all the guns because apparently that's a thing. 
Well, let's look at it. Let's look at another place with a gun. <laughs> let's look at another fucking butte. But wait, 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 wait. I want to go on to one of the photos there. Why do they have the photo of him like on his elbows? Like, what? I know. I, uh, what what is that? Like, who posed that? Like, what what? Well, what am I supposed to see in this picture that I'm not seeing? That's what I really want. Uh, it, it, he's breakdancing. Hmm. Yeah, Superion was breakdancing too. Or, is that the one y'all talking about? Superion yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's what Justin talking about. Why would oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. And um, and and then the well, the other picture that I really don't understand is um, uh, I'm trying to see if it's numbered, but it doesn't appear to be. Is the one where he's holding Power Glide as a gun and he, they have a knee bend? I'm not sure why they would want to make his legs look smaller in any picture. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good question. Yeah, I don't know. I I could see picking this one up if uh, I'm just out there and I see it, but I don't know. It depends also on the price point. Cause and look at that Hasbro's power glide gun mode. Like me with the uh, the price point lately. So look at that power glide gun mode, man. Sexy. Like nice it. gun mode, Mac. Can't wait a minute. <sighs> okay, so let's look at the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime, which is equally as good. Hey, man, Piranicon had the same thing going on. Yeah, I agree. That's one of my favorite combiners. Sorry, I'm cooking. I'm cooking dinner because I didn't have a chance to do it when I got home because I'm working until five thirty now. It's throwing me off instead of three thirty. So I'm muting and I'm muting. I'm sorry. I'm just fucking starving. So um, the good news is is that they figured out how to fix the kibble on his forearms. Oh wait, no, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I look at this toy, if you were to rip his shoulders off, I like what I see. Like, well, like you know. Here's another monkey man. Like, uh, yeah. what is it with this shit? Like, why do they need? Well, like, why do you need to be able to scratch your ankles when you're standing straight up? Yeah, good question. Who knows? It's you know, and, and there are certain things about this that I think they could have done that would have made it look better. Like, if the arms were on like a slide to raise the shoulders a tiny bit more, you know. So they like they sit up. Man, I just got. I'm looking through these pictures. I just got to the one where it looks like Optimus is trying to take a shit. Uh, <laughs> it's, sorry, it left me speechless. Uh, <laughs> this is really bad. Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I like the shape of like the Optimus chest and you know going down to the legs and stuff like that. But those arms just kill it for me. Ugh, I don't know. I don't like it. It's like he can he can put his socks on without bending his knees. Yeah. Mhm. That is important for any Optimus Prime. Warm toes are the right of all sentient beings. Uh. <laughs> I'm getting it. <laughs> you know what? Though? I can't defend that shit anymore. I, I just I'm getting it. I, <laughs> it's a transformer. I don't give a fuck. Uh. I may get it simply to have the uh, the uh, the 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 toy to actually paint white and call it Thunder Clash because I think it actually. I like the truck. I really like the truck mode, to be honest. I don't like the uh, weird proportion bot, but I like the truck. What about the – you like the truck with the, the pelvis part? Because that looks stupid. Well, that does look stupid, but I like the truck Okay. in general. So, you know, I'll look the other way for the pelvis thing. Maybe I'll rip it off and find something more, <clears throat> you know, elegant to do with it. But, uh, yeah. I like his size in comparison to, like, the deluxes. Mm-hmm. Oh, in comparison to uh, Alpha Bravo, my favorite G1 character. <laughs> yeah, how's that Ollie treating you? <laughs> how's, how's those Tetra Jets treating you? Dude, I like my Tetra Jets. You keep bringing it up like do. I don't like them. I bet you do. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. Dude, let me tell you something. My Tetra Jet, any one of my Tetra Jets is better than 80% of your collection. Bullshit. Mm. Go fuck yourself with a sick dick. <laughs> Dude, put my... Uh, te- put fuck my, them Tetra Jets. Put my, te- put my Tetra Jet against, against your six shells of Revenge of the Fallen. Man. Chance Tetra Jets will break. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. That's true, man. Revenge of the Fallen will just crush them. I got to I gotta be in Matt's that's corner here that's... for this one. I, can't, I cannot give any kind of warm, loving glow to the Tetra Jets. I like my Tetra Jets. I mean, I, I don't think that they're oh. good toys, but I like them. In Mass oh. Defense, Revenge of Holland was the most solid uh, movie line. Yeah, well, what does that mean? Um, I'm not retarded, but I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what <do you> mean? <laughs> well, he's hey, I'm just trying to stick it for Matt. You know, he's not—he's not specially abled. 
I know, but he is a dumbass. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a it's awesome. Uh, so discussion wise, there was a bit of controversy this week with Toy World that seems to be resolved. Um, Greg, do you have any information on this? Um, a little bit. First of all, Toy World, their, their representative um, speaks about as much English as I give a fuck about that Superion, uh, which is none. Um, <laughs> he, I, I actually, I emailed just because, like, you know, whatever. I, I sent him an email. I, I, I bought into the fucking whatever. Right. Um, but I sent an email on behalf of, you know, whatever, like... <laughs> Because I don't, I personally don't really care to do business with Big Bad Toy Store or TF Source at this point, and uh, I do my business with smaller retailers. So solidarity and whatever. I have too much free time in my hands, but um, I got a response back, and it was very broken English, like not even Google Translate broken. Like it was just bad. It was a uh, uh, fucking Internet. Ex- <laughs> it was Internet Explorer translated. <laughs> the only thing I could respond with. <laughs> The only thing I could respond with was a question mark. <laughs> what was the what was the little shit with the uh with the the ship? It had like the ship steering wheel. Um, oh, Steamboat Willie. No, no, it was like an internet thing. Like it was like a it was like a internet browser. Oh. Um, Netscape. It was oh, Netscape. Net- it was Netscape Translate. Oh yeah, that's what Geek Squad used to get on uh, get on Skype with. <laughs> um, so uh, they messaged me back like right away, and they're like, "I sorry, I don't you I don't make you understand." <laughs> and it's like, because uh, you saw what I you saw what I wrote, um, and if anyone really wants to see it, I'll fucking copy and paste it on the page. But um, they're like, "What retailer should we use?" And I'm like, "You must." And that's why I was like a question mark. And then they're like, "I'm sorry, you don't I understand or something." And I was like, um, getting to the meat of it, they were like telling me that they had no idea what Capture Prey and Chosen Prime were talking about. And, you know, I sent them links to the same information that we have from Capture Prey and Chosen Prime. But I can't do the, uh, the, the Chinese uh, voice, but maybe I should start doing the African voice to all of the, uh, <laughs> to, for all of the impressions of the toy makers. Well, luckily, I emailed and not Oscar. Um, <laughs> so they, they responded, and they're like, there's been no communication, you know, I don't know why they, and that was the end of the email. There's been no communication, I don't know why they. That was the email I got back. But then I talked to Brandon over at Chosen Prime, and apparently all of a sudden things were resolved, and there was an issue of um, someone's email address changing, or like a communication line changing. So now everybody's all on the same page, and at least for Chosen Prime, you can get your Toy World stuff there. Gotcha. Everything's resolved. So this is an instance where people emailing actually did some good. I'm not saying it was my email, but people emailing actually raised, like, let them know that there was communication error. 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 Right. Error. Error. So, you know, it is what it is. As they say here in Ohio, <laughs> it's what it is. How? I, I, really don't think you're miss- I really don't think you're missing anything. That's just my opinion. But whatever. It's the world. It's not Hasbro. Go fuck yourself. Toy World put out some solid no, figures. They put out some stuff I don't care about, but at the same time, they put out some pretty solid figures too. So, yeah, I um, you know, I was thinking about Toy World recently, and I, and I, but I was like, you know, I gotta. Was it, I'm trying during one of your special times. You know. No, 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 no. Are you sure, um, are you having to to really think about it. What, Matt? Sorry, nothing. Matt. You were Matt. You were funnier last week. I know. I'll bring back, bring, bring back last week, Matt. Matt, you, you, go back you, in your box. You made me kind of flustered tonight, buddy. I'm sorry. There he I'm, is. I'm off on my game a little bit because you 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 touched a nerve. And there I, he is. Uh, or bring back serial killer Matt from. I mean, bring forward serial killer Matt from next week. But I'm just saying, you know, when you got your tour world stuff, you know, you then you replaced it with fans projects because so, it's not. Quite yeah, good enough. Toy, well, yeah, I see. That. I, I think Toy World has made some solid products, but I only have, I think, one Toy World product in my home. What's that? The Scamper or Swamper or whatever? No, I have. Uh, oh, is it uh, Brainstorm? 
Hard, no, wait, no, I have the throttle bots and hard head, and I like I like all of those. Okay. Yeah. So I, that, I, I actually I love the throttle bots and hard head. I, I hard head I like. People give hard head a, a hard time, no pun intended. But like I, I'm not exactly sure I understand where it comes from because I think he's pretty good. And Matt, just for you, um, if any yes, of sir. that was directed at me, I got rid of my. Uh, I was not directing you, Greg, but okay. Just take <laughs> argument. Shut the fuck up. Um, I got rid of my uh, brainwave when I got the fans project uh, brainstorm, uh-huh. and then I got rid of my hardhead because he didn't scale. But now that I've got rid of my brainstorm in favor of the Hasbro <laughs> or uh, Smart Robin in favor of the Hasbro brainstorm, I actually brought hardhead back to scale. Wow. So, Toy World kind of got me buying more Hasbro stuff. If you want to look at it with squinty eyes, Great. so um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, gonna push that towards Arkansas, see if it makes it. Where? Gonna run, like, run well, across. It made it. It made it. Gonna run across the country just because I can. You know, Hegemon is pretty. Uh, is, oh yeah, forgot well all about that shit. Um, and so is Orion. Orion's pretty well respected. You know, I like Orion. Yeah. Um, dude. the other thing I was gonna bring up, like just as a thought, is like the. Uh, but I might save that for next week because next week we're going to try to do our year-end special and get a couple guys on and see what we can Yay. do. Um, oh, we, shit. I got a uh, fucking email Obama. I completely forgot yeah, about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to get if, Obama in that. If he's not busy putting his fucking foot in his mouth somewhere. No. Uh, bring on the hate mail. Anyway, uh, the, uh, the, the but but we, I do have a, a topic. And, and for anybody listening, if you want to write in questions uh, regarding this, but like I think we're getting to a point now where we're being uh, you know 10,000 times more choosy with third party than we were just a year ago. Not me. Shit, especially you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially you. But like uh you know I I want I want to you know that's I, in my opinion that's been the biggest changing of the guard in 2013 regarding third company is that it went from five companies that I bought everything from to 20 companies where I buy six things from. Um, but anyway, if you have any thoughts regarding that, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about 2014 <coughs> next next week, regardless of whether we get people on or not. Because I don't give a fuck anymore. If 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 we do, we do, and I'd love to have them on. But if we don't, you know what? It's Shattercast, and Shattercast is going to have to be enough. Except for Oscar. Oscar. Except for Oscar. Better I would be love on the damn show. Yeah, Oscar. Oscar, please come back. It's uh, it's it's it's. It's, it needs you. Um, we need you. We need you. What, we are we grouped. Need, I need to about, feel you inside me. What this about you? Gra- hey, Greg, I, this is for you. We are grouped. <laughs> um, but anyway. He, he didn't yeah, say it's, nothing. Uh, what the fuck? So we're going to talk oh, about... Oh, you know, wait, shout out to Oscar. I, I just heard it's his birthday today. <clears throat> <laughs> Happy birthday, Oscar! <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're going to talk about Hasbro and you know and how we've seen it. We like They're... Whether you like what they're doing or not, there has been a change in Hasbro this year. Like, for the just best. In, 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 I, 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 well, I, I'm not gonna say it's for the best, Matthew, but I will say that it is for the better. There you um, go. I'll take that. And uh, and then you know, and then we have got the AOE nonsense to go through, and there, there's a, there's a lot of Transformer stuff going on this year. So we're gonna do that next week. But we do have one uh, listener question, unless I've forgotten some, which I don't think I have, but I maybe have. I'm if so, I'll make up for it next week. Put it on there. No. And uh, I think we've had this question before, but it's still a good one. Uh, it's from our good friend Robert. And what are some of your childhood Transformer Christmas memories? Oh. Um. He says, I'm not sure if he wanted this shared or not, but he says he remembers one year searching out and finding where his mom hid the presents. He looked in the closet and pulled out a bag containing Soundwave. Super psyched. Felt so grateful that she got him such an awesome figure. And then immediately felt guilty for ruining the surprise. Um, I, I, I've already shared this before, but I'll share it again because, you know, there's new listeners all the time. So feel free to skip forward um, if you've heard this story before. But, like, my, my most... skip forward. I'm trying. My, 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 my most prominent <laughs> memory of uh, of Christmas regarding Transformers. I have, two, I have two, and I'll save the second one for last. But uh, my mom was a spiteful bitch. She never got me anything for fucking Christmas ever. Like, where she'd get me, like, one year she got me 200 individually wrapped personalized pencils. Like, she was just she was just a fucking sadistic oh, human being. Um, and 
my dad had told her that he was going to get me the Predacons. So I like I, I was with my mom and celebrated Christmas with her like a, a week before I celebrated Christmas proper on the 25th with my dad, and she got me the fucking Predacons, like just to fucking ruin it for him. Um, which is an unfortunate memory, but it is my most significant, like it's the one that's ingrained in my head. Um, because my father was fucking furious. Um, but they fucking hated each other. I grew up in a, a typical American, um, functional family. I don't trust people whose parents are still together. Um, but yeah, what about you, Greg? Um, well, damn, I, I clearly remember answering this before too, uh, after hearing that again. Um, Man, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I remember being a kid, and this always sticks out with me. Um, this is why uh, Predaking or Predaking, goddamn, Piranicon is my favorite combiner. Because um, I didn't have any completed combiners as a kid, just because that's the way the world you know, was. Like, I just didn't have any. And I remember it was a rainy day at the beach in North Carolina. We were at Atlantic Beach, and we stopped at a Kmart. Uh, we were in the bad part of Atlantic Beach, and um, I got, I think it was Tentacle, and I completed my uh, my proper six-member set. And back then, I didn't even think anything weird about the six-member combiner. Like I thought it was weird as an adult, looking back at the five-member combiners, but uh, that completed my Piranicon. And I just remember it being rainy, and me being in a car, and I had all those motherfuckers together, and I put it all together. And, uh, like, on the way home, because we were at the beach. Because I carried that fucking thing around with me everywhere. And I just remember uh, just having that thing together. And uh, two weeks later, I think I lost, like, half the pieces. And then uh, I got into, I got into Spider-Man. But, you know, the point is, uh, it was a good memory, so. <clears throat> hey, Matt, what's your favorite memory? Hey, glad Involving you uh, Hasbro, outside of what uh, happened to you uh, last Thursday night. Word, all right. Um, I this was back a lot. I probably about eighty six, eighty seven, probably when the newer stuff were coming out. You know, all the you know the movie came out and they killed off everybody. Uh, I remember one that my probably my best Christmas uh, as a kid I ever had. Um, uh, my dad I, I just recently passed, and um, my mom uh, got me a bunch of Transformers uh, for um, for Christmas, and I remember. Um, we was with some friends that we stayed at and everything, and uh, they got a, a Nintendo, you know, and I didn't really care for Nintendo at that time and everything. And three weeks, three weeks later, I got one, too, because it was all awesome. But I got, for one Christmas, I got, I remember I got Trypticon, Skylynx, and Galvatron, and I think some other, I think I may have gotten, like, a Cyclonus or something. Anything. Anyways, I got a shitload of Transformers, and it was just, it was, you know... It was probably one of the best Transformer uh, Christmas I ever had and everything. But yeah, I think it was, you know, my pat, my dad passed away and everything around that time. And uh, she was just trying to make up for it, you know, all that stuff. You know, I was only a kid, so, you know, I didn't know anything. But, yeah, that's probably one of my best Christmas as a kid. Now, growing as an adult, you know, I get a lot more stuff now, but whatever. Sure. Justin? Uh, I think when I answered this question last time, I said, I do not know. I have no idea. I can't think of any super significant time. Well, let me ask you this: Did you, do you remember the first Transformer you ever got? It was Optimus. Was it? Mm-hmm. Nice. What yeah. about you, Greg? Huh? Greg, you might still be on mute. I think he is. He caught me with food in my mouth. Actually, oh, sorry. Worse than still being on mute. I was on mute with food in my mouth. Um, I don't. Yeah, me. I don't um, either. Yeah, I don't I think remember, I do either. I do remember some. How about how about ones you remember clearly? Remember getting? I remember. I Optimus clearly Prime. remember getting the sea wing. Getting what? Uh, or tentacle? That tentacle. Oh. Okay. I remember getting MicroMaster Hot House. Really? Clearly, and my grandpa bought it for me for Christmas, and it was like one of those like, yeah, here, <laughs> it's a it, it's a thing. You guys, you like the stuff. Kind of deal. Right. Kind of like uh, like w- like when your dad got you that that Lego set. <laughs> Nerds, Here's a guy. You're into fucking stupid shit. You're a <laughs> good boy. I'm gonna uh, hunt down some black people. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm talking about mine. I'm talking about mine. Uh, 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 uh. I'm talking about mine. 
my granddad's a uh, was a horrible racist. But anyway, oh, oh yeah, the last fucking thing, and I'm afraid to say too much because I don't want to alienate anybody. But I remember they uh, they did the thing when my granddad was dying, where they moved the hospital bed into the, like the house, mm-hmm. and he died in the living room. And I remember he was looking out the window, <laughs> and uh, one of the last things he ever said was uh, a very racially uh, empowered uh, or racist empowered rant about how the black kids were talking to my cousin at the bus stop and he was going to go kill him uh, explicitly. Wow. Mm. Yeah. And he died like the next day. But anyway, not to derail this party, um, party train, this uh, party express Choo-choo. cartoon even. Well, I remember, uh, go, did you have one, another one? Oh yeah. I was going to say, I remember getting hot house clear double dealer. I remember getting double dealer uh, very clearly pretender. Um, oh, I don't remember his name. The, the one that was the jet, the red and blue jet. And it was like the red, white body with the blue helmet. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. That, oh, that's, um, yeah, I know who you're talking about. I remember uh, getting that one. Like, that's clear in my head. I remember getting uh, um, jump starters. I remember getting top spin and twin twist. Oh, yeah, I do too. But, like, the big ones, like the ones you think would stick out, I don't really remember. Or maybe I just had shitty Transformers as a kid. I remember I getting know. the tapes. The tapes, well, they were a little cheaper. Oh, I remember stealing some tapes. Yeah, I remember getting some tapes. I remember um, getting Optimus Prime, and I remember like yeah. vividly coming home. Like we, I was in the car coming home from Toys R Us, and I like had to open them. My dad was like, "Do not fucking open them. Like you're gonna lose something. You're gonna fucking lose something." And I was like, <laughs> oh, and, I, you and, lost something. No. "And I was, yeah, and I was like, I was like, no fucking way. I was like, it's Optimus Prime. I was like, well, I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna leave him in the box and like I fucking open them, and I lost the gun." <laughs> like, oh, fucking before we got home, I, I I've never had Optimus's gun for Optimus. Like, oh, really? Yep, That's never sad. had it because I, I thought I, you I, lost like the hose or something, a mm-hmm. little the gas uh, thing, nope. Or whatever. Nope, I lost the fucking big ass gun. And and a similar thing happened when I got the Batmobile, like uh, the '89 Batmobile that had the two yellow missiles that loaded yep. in the compartments. Mm-hmm. Uh, we 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 were going home. Now this one, my dad actually found. Like to this day, I, I remember, but like. So like he was like he was like don't fucking open it don't you're gonna lose it. and I was like man fuck you know in my head I'm like fuck you this is a Batmobile so like I, I got it out and I fired the I missiles and there. and one went right out the window and my <laughs> and my and my dad pulled over and went and looked for it and eventually found it like 45 minutes later that is some dedication oh, wow. I would have been like nope goodbye he would, he, <laughs> he wouldn't stop and and guess where it was in the, it car. Was in the car. Nope, it was on one of the yellow lines in the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, hearing what I've heard about Bobby's dad, I think the only reason he did that what not a love for his son. I mean, not saying he didn't love his son, but I think it was because he just bought that fucking thing. Yep. And he was like, oh, hell no. It was more than likely two things. Like one was, you know, he had just bought it for me, and two was, uh, you know, he like it, it was instilling that, like, you know, like this fucking costs money, and we're not just gonna say fuck it. You know, like exactly. it, that that was that was pretty big for him. But That's um, what I was that yeah, is, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was trying to say. He um, I'm trying to remember if I, if I the, my other Christmas memory was one year I got uh, cause like you know what, what, what I think what we forget is that like you didn't know what fucking toys were coming out back then. You know, shit just came out and it was magical. You know, yeah, you had to go to the store. You had to go to the store and find the shit. Yeah, well, not even go to the store and find it. You just go to the store and see it. Yeah. You didn't even know there was anything to find. I mean, do you remember uh, the do you remember the the aisles? You know, in Toys R Us or, or yes. KB, yeah, or Walmart. I mean, they were just lined up with GI Joe shit and everything. But like but I, one oh, one year for Christmas, I got the Combaticons, the Stunicons, and the Protectabots. Money like bags. The, the whole set between my dad and my dad's girlfriend and my grandma. Like each one got me a set and like. I remember like opening them up, like opening one, you know what I mean? And I was like, holy shit, they're making these, <laughs> yeah. you know? And then I was like, oh my God, I hope they make the whole set. And then like, you know, opening the next one, like, <gasps> and then like, by the time you get to like the third or fourth one, you're like, oh, please let all of them be here. That's funny. <laughs> I remember uh, one of my best ones was, uh, I got Starscream. Uh, I, I didn't really get a lot of Transformers um, before, um, anything but uh because my mom would always buy me go bots and say they were transformers because they were cheaper and <laughs> um 
So I had tons of cobots. Kitty childhood. I uh, know. <laughs> and uh, but stop I, bringing I, me uh, down with your sad ass childhood stories, man. I loved my gobots, but nobody ever told me they were I'm transformers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, no, I saw a star scream, and and you know, and he was I don't know twenty bucks, I think back then. Give or take, and um, uh, she actually bought it for me, and I think that was one. I wish I would have kept it, but like I said, I moved around so much, we just lost. You know, I don't know. She threw out all my shit, but anyways, that's probably one of my favorite memories that I bought. That she got me a transformer. And Star Scream was twenty bucks when you were a kid. I think weren't they twenty or fifteen? I don't remember. Yeah, they yeah, were. I don't, I don't worry about that. I think. Yeah, I, I was just probably was like thirty. I think. Yeah, so I remember. Um, the last Transformer I ever got um, as a kid, it was uh, it was Action Master Megatron, <laughs> and he had like the, he had like the tank that he sat in. Oh yeah, oh, and I, yeah. I got it home and opened it up and was and was fucking with it, and my dad was like, "What is this?" <laughs> and I was like, "This is the Transformer I just got," and he was like, "That's your last one." <laughs> like he was so disgusted with how simple it was. That he was like, this toy line will no longer get any more of my hard-earned money. I gotta meet your dad, man. Your dad's awesome. So, yeah, somewhere they, out there, somewhere out there, somebody has seen this damn like foot-tall Hasbro abomination shampoo bottles. <laughs> yep, and done the same thing. The same last shit. one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna put my think, hard-earned money on that shit. Well, like my, my think, dad, like uh, like my all right, my my dad was in, my dad was in the fire service, so like. There's a lot of good old boys in the fire service. Like I grew up around that, and like, um, like, 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 not like, not like hillbillies in the sense of like, you know, like uh, uneducated rednecks, but like hillbillies in the sense of like, like Carhartt jackets and like guys that know how to take your car apart and put it back together. And like, uh, like I always got like, like I never had like a sheet cake for for my birthday. It was always like somebody's grandma, and somebody's grandma Betty. Betty Lou knew how to make cakes and she, you know, and I had like for my like fifth birthday, it was a, a cake with like Optimus Prime like made on it. And I remember looking at it like, man, if this ain't the most fucking bootleg looking fucking not Chinese knockoff <laughs> fucking birthday cake ever. <laughs> like, it just looked like, you know, I was like, man, I, I go to other kids' birthday parties and they'd have like the fucking the one from the grocery store that's like all like painted up nice. And like, I, like and then I got mine and it's like, you know, some some like special needs kid did it in crayon. <laughs> uh, but anyway, up. no. I, I, well, it, it, up, I, Bobby. I was watching special. Uh, I was watching fucking the Boondocks recently, and it was funny. They were like, uh, they had this episode where they were like, uh, they were trying to say that the youngest kid on there was specially abled, and he was like, "I'm not specially abled. Ninjas are specially abled. Luke Skywalker <laughs> is specially abled. You're trying to say I'm retarded." Um. But anyway, yeah, I don't, I don't watch Boondocks. Sorry. Oh, it's funny as shit, dude. You definitely should. Yeah, you uh, should. And the guys from my hometown. Uh, so anyway, uh, shout out, shout out to Ad Fear Corps. Uh, he let me hold Brawny, and that was very fucking cool of him. And I'm gonna give him to Justin next Friday. Yep. Um, shout out to the Chosen Prime and Dubcake Toys. Uh, both are worth the Google. Both are small companies, and both will take care of you. Shout out to I Am Ratchet at IamRatchet.com. <laughs> Uh, for all your G1 needs, uh, if you were at TFCon, he was that guy, and you already know what I'm talking about. The guy <laughs> that, that broke guy, the fucking elevator. <laughs> the, the guy that <laughs> walked in had fucking, you know, the G1 shit in box. Um, that that's him. He's he's looking like drunk orch. <laughs> Shout out to uh, TF Prototype and third party Transformer Crashers. Both Facebook pages both uh, take good care of us, and in turn. Uh, we show them a lot of love. Shout out to Decepticon Click on Instagram that also takes care of us. And shout out also to Realm of Collectors that want to work with us in some capacity as soon as they get up and running. Um, so, yeah. Uh, shout out, as always, to Oscar. Um, we, we need to make something happen, man. So it's, it's, it's you know, I know you're Happy listening. Birthday. Happy birthday. And let's get back on in the Happy in the game. birthday. And then you, you, yes, you listening can come be a nerd at the cool table as well at www.youtube.com backslash Shattercast Uncut, Podomatic at Podomatic.com backslash Shattercast Uncut, Facebook at Facebook.com backslash Shattercast, 
Twitter at, at ShatteredCast, and it's all misspelled. Just search the half to hashtag Tumblr at ShatteredCast.tumblr.com, Blogspot at ShatteredCastUncut.blogspot.com, and our Gmail is ShatteredCastOnline at gmail.com. Uh, a word of advice to any up-and-coming podcasters, make sure that all your shit is the same so you want it to go through what we go through. Um, with that being said, uh, I think we should have, instead of our usual ending, I think we should just go out with a moment of silence. Sancho Barbosa. Matt always ruins everything. <laughs>